This video is sponsored by Squarespace. MH-53 pilot, power down now. Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to another episode of Fixing Transformers. And in today's, we're gonna take a look at who was the mustache man in Transformers 2007. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, if you don't remember who the mustache man was, here is a quick recap on him. The mustache man is a character, or should I say hologram, that showed up in Transformers 2007. His main function was act like a human driver for the Decepticons so they could operate within military branches and law enforcement agencies of the United States without getting the attention that an otherwise driverless vehicle would obviously attract. Though the Mustache Man can appear in many different uniforms, appropriate for the vehicle disguise his owner has assumed, the hologram appears to only have one face, with an icy stare, having the tendency to flicker before his owner carries out an operation. He likely appeared in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen as the pilot of Starscream, but since we do not have a clear shot of his face, this is unconfirmed. So with that said, who is the Mustache Man? Well, a common theory is that he's Tom Banachek, the head of Sector 7's Advanced Research Division, but this would be incorrect. Since Tom and the Mustache Man are played by two completely different actors, Tom is played by Michael O'Neill, and the Mustache Man is played by Brian Reese. And I will get to Reese later on in the video. So now ruling out Tom, who could the Mustache Man possibly be? Well, the most logical theory would be that he was the 4500X MH-53 pilot that got shot down in Afghanistan three months before the events of the 2007 film. Sir, it says here 4500X was shot down three months ago, Afghanistan. It's gotta be a mistake. Check again, then recheck. I did, sir. A friend of mine was on that shot. And as we know, Blackout scanned that exact same helicopter to be his alternate form. So it is not too far-fetched to say that the Mustache Man was the MH-53 pilot and possibly the friend of Harrison. As for how Blackout was able to scan the pilot, it is actually a thing Transformers can do. Since we see Scorponok being able to scan Epps, Laserbeak was able to scan Sam, and most notably, Bumblebee was able to scan Kate and Shane and put their faces on keycards. So this scanning ability looks like it can be also applied to holograms. As for how 4500X was shot down, the most logical answer would be, while flying around Afghanistan, they witnessed Blackout crash land on Earth. Blackout seizing the opportunity would scan 4500X to be his alternate form and would then kill the witnesses. We know Blackout has a tendency to do this since he killed almost everyone at the Soxen airbase to make sure there were no witnesses. And when Lennox and his team escaped, he sent Scorponok to hunt them all down while he finished the job at Soxent. Now, one thing about the Mustache Man that almost everybody gets wrong is that when he flickers, we can see Optimus Prime's face. But this is actually a face of a protoform, which is what the skeleton of all Transformers look like. Now, the reason why it's an Autobot protoform instead of a Decepticon one is because Decepticon protoforms did not exist back in Transformers 2007 and would be later added for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And as for how Starscream and Barricade had their own mustache mans, it's likely Blackout shared the hologram schematics to them. And all Barricade and Starscream had to do was dress them up in their appropriate attire and they would be ready to go. But now this leaves the question, if Brawl and Bonecrusher had their own mustache mans. And I think they do, since three out of the five had the mustache man as their hologram. And though we never get to see Brawl's driver, it is likely it was the mustache man. On the other hand, we did get to see Bonecrusher's driver. And clearly it was the stun driver that drove Bonecrusher's vehicle. But since we were never intended to see his face, due to how quick the scene goes, I think that it is safe to say Bonecrusher also uses the Mustache Man. Now, with all that said, that is everything that we know about the Mustache Man. But the actor Brian Reese, who played him, has a very interesting history involved with the production of Transformers 2007 that I would like to cover. But before I jump into that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that lets you create a stunning and beautiful website that you can use for your online presence. Rather than be an online blog talking about alien robots that turn into cars roaming the streets to an official business, Squarespace has you covered. 
Squarespace is very user-friendly, meaning you can make the website of your dreams with no coding experience whatsoever. I love that you can add your social media posts to your website, since it's a fast and efficient way for others to find you, along with the embedded video feature, showing your videos right on the page. So if any of this interests you, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when your website is ready to go, go to squarespace.com slash trans theories to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now, as I was saying about Brian Reese, he actually was the real pilot of one of the two MH-53 helicopters that were used for Blackout's alternate mode. Michael Bay and Steven Spielberg both agreed that Reese looked exactly what they had pictured for the mustache man. And, as a result, he had to change his wedding and honeymoon schedules so he could film all the Mustache Man scenes. Now that's a mad lad right there. Another cool fact about the Mustache Man is that the mustache was fake. It was glued on to make Reese look more intimidating. In the credits, Mustache Man's name is spelled by its British-American way. And, the last cool fact about the Mustache Man that I have is that Bumblebee had his own Mustache Man, but it was cut due to not making any sense. However, Bumblebee's Mustache Man shows up in Transformers the movie Storybook, and is mentioned by Barricade in the Transformers Autobots DS game. And, just like that, that was Who Was the Mustache Man? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Without you guys, Trans Theories would not be where it is today. So thank you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like because it will help the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro.